Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at our Rhino Rack roof rack system with the 54 inch longer crossbars, the towers and the custom fit kit for your 2019 Honda Civic. So you have a fun, sporty Civic, but what if you also need to do other things like carry around kayaks or pick up a bike and you need a roof box or a roof basket or a roof mounted bike rack? What you then need is a roof rack system. Now this is a special system. It's something that I put together as a kit if you want longer crossbars. If you just want a roof rack system, check out the 49 inch long version. But if you need that extra space, this might be the one for you. So with this longer set, you have a crazy amount of overhang. Overhang is measured from your tower to right before your end cap and we have five and a half inches of overhang. So if you have accessories and you wanna clamp them around on the edge just so that they're easier to access or easier to reach, this is the way to do so. The downside to too much overhang though is look how close it gets to your head when getting into the car. That may be an issue, especially for your taller people if you're not careful about it. So this has some security features and that's in the form of a metal lock core for your tower as well as a plastic lock core for your crossbar. You can actually switch this out for a metal lock core that's sold separately if you want them all keyed alike. But you take off that end cap, you now have access to your T-Track mounted accessories plus you can see the nice aluminum that your crossbar is made out of. Now some measurements you may have to think about is roof clearance. It's going to be the same as the shorter version, which is from the top of the roof to the bottom of the crossbar. It's about three and a quarter inches. That's how much space you have for clamps that go around your crossbar. And then up top, you have about four and a little past a quarter inches. And that's going to be where your cargo sits. So if you have skis, especially skis with extra tall bindings, that's how much space you're going to have to clear. If it doesn't clear, that's when you can look at accessories that give you that extra lift. So this is going to give you a specific crossbar spread because you have a naked roof. So you don't really have an option to it. So center of one crossbar to the other, it sits 27 inches apart. So for your accessories, like your roof baskets and roof boxes, that's a very important measurement to see if that accessory will fit. This has a weight capacity of 165 pounds since you have bars made of aluminum, plus they're aero bars. I like aero bars because they're less wind drag and wind noise compared to round or square crossbars. Plus, I think they give a more stable surface for those accessories and they're less likely to tilt around, especially those kayak carriers. So if you buy the whole kit here at eTrailer, it has everything you need to install your roof rack. One extra tool I use is a tape measure to get everything lined up. So let's take a look at that. So this process could be a little confusing once you have all of your small parts, like why are there different number pads and different number hooks and how do you get them all together? Where does the foot plate direction go? That's what this video is for. I'll help guide you through that process, especially with the extra complication of having longer crossbars. So the first step is to get your end cap, take that off of your crossbar and then feed your tower through. The next thing to do is to figure out where the towers go. So on your fit kit, you're gonna have the little measurements there and we're gonna use the measurement for the square HD bar. And that's 36 and 27 30 seconds of an inch. So almost 37 inches away. So put those towers apart, measure for 37 and then do a little math to measure that they're evenly distanced apart. So once your front crossbar towers are about 37 inches apart, you're then going to tighten down with the tool. Now for this slightly confusing part for most people. So you're going to want to get the right numbered pad, then you're going to want the arrow facing forward. So this means front of your car but you're also gonna have this foot plate with an arrow and you want that arrow facing out, so away from your car. So line those both up where they do that, put them together and then put them on the correct tower. 
And now you're going to measure on your vehicle where your crossbar is supposed to go. So your measurement will be from the door to the front of your vehicle. You want it at around 11 and 3 quarter inches. So you have stickers included to mark your spot. And now gently place your crossbar onto your roof. Since you have those rubber pads on the bottom, that should help you get that lined up and to the arrows you put earlier. So once you've gotten them lined up, then just get your hook and your bolt and lightly thread that bolt into the tower. So here's a tip. When tightening down, please tighten them down evenly. Like I go halfway on this side, then about 75% on the other side, and I go back and forth. That way, as I tighten down the hook, it doesn't skew the whole system one way to the other. So your included tool actually has a torque spec. So see how the end of the handle flattens out? Well, that's because we're at four or five Newton meters of torque, and we know we have enough tension. So once you have all four towers tightened down, the last step is to put your end caps on. So there's the end cap for the tower, that locks and secures. And then there's the end cap for the crossbar, and that also has its own special lock. So do that for all four sides. And just like that, you are done with the install. Good job. Now it's time to load up your new roof rack and hit the road. So my personal thoughts about this roof rack system is I recommend this kit only if you really need those longer bars and you know the type of overhang situation that you have. If you don't know what you're going to be carrying around, if you're going to have this on your vehicle for a long period of time, definitely go with the 49 inch long bars instead just because they're a good balance of looks but also being practical. So hopefully this video helped you out with figuring out how to install your roof rack system and if it will work for you and your different situations. And that right there was a look at our longer roof rack system with the 54 inch long vortex crossbars, the towers and the custom fit kit for your 2019 Honda Civic.